Welcome to the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. We are in Salina. The Bulldog is watching over as I talk with head coach Trent Temple. Coach, you're in your second season here with the Bulldogs, 7-3 and three last year. Just missed out on the postseason, but things are really taking shape here in 2014, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Kids are working hard, getting better. That's all we can ask for. Back-to-back -back winning seasons for the first time since the 90s. So you kind of you came into the head coaching role a little late into the offseason last year. Now are, is everything in full stride and everything's ready to go? Well, we hope so. I yeah. mean, you know, obviously we got a little bit more time to prepare and, and do the things that we want to do. But uh, we've, we've stayed consistent offensively and defensively. So uh, that, that's important, I think. What have you seen in camp so far this year? Anything that has surprised you or intrigued you uh, throughout about a week of practice? Well, yeah, I know. Just like everybody else, we got to get it better in, in some key positions. And once that happens, I think we'll be okay. But uh, we got some maturing to do. You know, we need some kids to step up just like everybody else. And uh, if that happens, good things will happen. Looking at the offense, you're young at the quarterback position, but not inexperienced. Caleb Horn returning. He started as a sophomore. And, and now what do you see out of him going into his junior well, year? We expect a lot of good things out of Caleb. You know, he, 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 uh, he does a lot of things well, and uh, he's getting better every day. Looking at the WBL, where do you guys fit into the uh, Western Buckeye League this season? Always competitive. You're opening up the conference schedule at home against Bath. Uh, what, are you, what are you looking to get out of the conference slate? Well, obviously, we get, you got uh, Canton in there, and you got uh, Walpock and St. Mary's now with Doug Fry back at back at St. Mary's. Uh, you know, right now, I don't think I think it's anybody's uh, anybody's league. Just to whoever steps up and goes out there and takes it. Any particular game you have circled on your schedule? No, you know, obviously here with uh, with Salina and St. Mary's, that's a big rivalry. But uh, you know, every week's important. You know, you start looking ahead, that's when you get beat. So every week's important to us. Well, we have one game of yours circled on our schedule. You can watch them take on Ottawa Glendorf in Week Three here on WOSN. What about the conditioning and weight program this summer? Is that something that you've tried to amp up a little more, or has it stayed steady throughout your tenure here? No, no, we, we actually we needed to get a lot stronger in the offseason. That was one of the things when we sat down as a staff and, and spoke about in the offseason. We, we need to get our kids stronger, um, just like everybody else. We went four days a week um, throughout the offseason through the summer. Um, so that's helped you know, tremendously. We don't have a lot of big kids. You know, we've got lean kids, but not big kids. Um, you know, we, we have to use our, our speed. If we don't use our speed, we'll be in trouble. We're not going to overpower anybody. Um, but uh, so we obviously got to get as strong as we can get, and that's important. Have you seen that progress carry out onto the field from the from the uh, summer training program? Into well, I, yeah, absolutely. You know, kids are a lot stronger than they were, you know, a year ago, and they're a lot faster than they were a year ago. So that's going to help us tremendously. First scrimmage on Friday against Crestview. What are you hoping to get out of that? See your guys against some other competition besides themselves. Well, we just want to see who's going to get out there and compete. And, you know, it's, it's always nice when you get to go against somebody in a different jersey. You know, our kids are tired of hitting each other. They want to go out there and hit somebody else. We're just hoping to, to go out there and, you know, hopefully keep everybody healthy and get through it and uh, watch some film to see where we need to get improvement. Offense was a big strength last year, averaging over 30 points a season. What about the defensive side of the ball this year? What can we expect? You know, we finished third defensive last year, so and I think we're a little better than we were last year at this time. We got a lot of those guys back. I think one of our strong points is going to be our defensive line. We, we were, I think we're going to be really solid. Um, I thought, you know, two years ago we were pretty good at the defensive line position. Now we're, I think we're going to be better this year than we were last or two years ago. What's one area where you want to see the most improvement made between now and week one? Our offensive line. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of coaches out there saying the same thing. But we need to get better at the offensive line position. Um, we're doing that. We're trying. Kids are working hard to get better, and that's all we can ask for. In the trenches, it's so competitive in the WBL. How important is it to just win the line of scrimmage every time you take the field? You know, if you win that, you're going to win the ball game. So that's, where, that's all that matters. <laughs> What about expectations for this season? Like the next step seems to be a playoff berth for this program. Is that correct? That's is that the goal? Yeah, that's always the goal. You know, we, we missed it the last two years. We were close. We had a chance last year. Um, you know, if we, we had to finish eight and two, you know, you know, to get in, uh, we, didn't, we didn't get that done and that was on us. You know, this year we got to find a way to get in. Who are some of the leaders that are leading this group? Uh, some of the seniors maybe that you can point to and specific examples of their leadership early on. Well, Sean Kirk, obviously, he's a, he's a leader on and off the field. He's a quiet kid, but I tell you what, he works as hard as anybody I've ever seen. Um, and he, we're going to utilize him on both sides of the ball. Then we got Brandon Hoffman's been a starter since his, his sophomore year. Great kid, same, very, very similar to Sean. You know, he's the hardest worker we got on and off the field. Then we got Frank Townsend. He's also also one of our captains, and, and uh, you know, he's got the physique and all that stuff, you know, that you're looking for. But, and again, one of the hardest, you can tell he's a weight room kid, um, loves the weight room, and uh, those are the three guys that we're going to lean on the most. 
What do you expect of your guys every time they step on the field? Is there like a team mantra this season, or or is it the work ethic? Like everybody knows, or is it is there a mantra? Maybe? Well, we, we always come up with some some corny saying that you know <laughs> respect the name is the biggest thing for us. You know, okay. We're trying to to earn respect here. You know, Slime has been down for so long, and you know, okay, good, we had two winning seasons in a row. Well, let's make it three. You know, let's do what it takes. Let's let's get some respect back in this area. You know, this area back when I was in school was was a powerhouse in football with uh, Mike Bath, Trent Dyser, and that stretch they had there. It was just unbelievable stretch of football that they had. And it, for whatever reason, kind of lost that that meaning um, that it had back in the '90s. We're trying to get that back with with in, you know in the 2014-15 area. What about? Any surprises in camp so far? Is there maybe a, a group of players or a specific player who has just come out way ahead of where you expected them to be? Well, yeah, Michael Teeters. I mean, he, he played defensive line for us last year. He he's he's you know I, in my mind he's an all league tackle, um, so he's been impressive this year as far as you know. But we kind of knew that going in. You know, we we, had, we already had that expectation going in, but he's exceeded that expectation so far. Did this group participate in any team camps this summer? Maybe seven on sevens. Yeah, we went to seven on seven. Went to Dayton and we did a few local seven on sevens, just like everybody else. What do you get out of that? Is that just to make sure the guys <laughs> are, are trying to get on the same page early on? Yeah, yeah you know, uh, it's great for the the offensive side of the ball. You know, defense. You, you just learn too many bad habits, I always say. But uh, you know, you, you have to do it. It's one of those you know double edged swords. You got to do it because everybody else is doing it. Um, you know, today's offense is everybody's you know out there slinging the ball around. So you have to be prepared for everything you're going to see. Salina getting ready for week one here at camp. Thanks, Coach, for taking the time to sit down with us. Time for a break on the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. After the break, Mark Kuntz will talk to some of the Bulldog players here on WOSN. Welcome back to the Community Sports and Therapy Warm-Up. I'm Mark Hoots, joined now by two Salina Bulldog seniors, Sean Kirk and Brandon Hoffman. And Sean, first off, coming off that 7-3 and three season, how much did that loss to Elida motivate this team in the offseason? Well, I think big time, you know. Anytime you come come into a game like that last in a, in a last uh, last game of the season, you know, you want you want to obviously you want to win that. And it's been a while since we've been in the playoffs, so. I think it motivates us a lot. In 1998, the last time Salina made the postseason, Brandon, does that Week 10 defeat motivate you as well? Yeah, after that uh, last, like, a very, very bad loss, it kind of put, like, a bad taste in your mouth. So you kind of think about that, like, when you're working out in the offseason, and I don't know, you're one win away, so, I mean, it, it stings pretty bad. As a linebacker, Brandon, you look back at last season, you guys won a lot of games with the defense. Is the defense going to be strong again this year? I think the defense is going to be really strong. We had, uh, I think, Ten people uh, this year that I think saw varsity at least once last year. So uh, in practice, we've been pretty strong. So I think the defense is going to be pretty good this year. It'll maybe help us out. Sean, you're on both sides of the ball, wide receiver as well as a cornerback. Trent Temple, he's been here for a couple of years first as defensive coordinator, but now as head coach. It was a little bit of a, of a, of a mixed-up situation last year when he came in late in the situation. Is it, can you tell he's more comfortable? Does, does it feel like it's his program now? Oh well, yeah, I think I think things are the same, but I think he is definitely more comfortable now, and uh, you know it's just nice to get out here and, and get the ball rolling as uh, we've uh, done some two days now. So yeah, definitely comfortable. Speaking of getting the ball rolling, you've been able to put up some some points with Caleb Hoying, sophomore last year, back this year as a junior. Tell us what what does Caleb Hoying bring to the football team as a quarterback? Oh, he's a great uh, great quarterback. He's he's tall. He's got a good arm, and uh, he's he's athletic. So I think it brings a, it brings a lot to the table for our team, and. Uh, we just got to make plays as receivers for them. So, Brandon, as you look ahead, week one at home against Versailles. Last couple of years, that's been a classic game. What do you guys need to get done between now and that opener against the Tigers? Um, I think in practice, I think the scout team needs to give us a good look. Uh, we need to keep going over, play, watching film, uh, be ready for everything. Because last year, I don't think we were ready off the start. But I think this year, if we get a no, like the, the offensive plays and the, they know their defense, I think we'll be fine. Sean, as you look around the rest of the WBL, I think there's a sense this year that the league might be a little bit wide open. Is Salina maybe a, a surprise team that maybe could, could sneak up on some folks this year? Oh, definitely. I, I think if uh, we keep working out hard out here and, uh, you know, um, keep if we keep working hard, I think we can be right up there. You know, there's, there's a couple teams that 
are going to be the same. Like Walpock will be up there, and and Kenton's always good. So you know, I think we could be right up there though with those teams. All right, need to take a time out here on the community sports and therapy warm up. When we come back, more from the Slana Bulldogs here on WOSN. Welcome back to the Community Sports and Therapy warm-up as the rain starting to come down here at Salina as the Bulldogs open to rain over the Western Buckeye League this season. Joined now by Caleb Hoying and Frank Townsend. And Caleb, we talked a little bit about you in the last couple of segments. Junior quarterback, how much have you learned in the last couple of years as a signal caller? I've learned a lot. I've gotten to get used to the playbook. We've, had, we've actually added a new play, and hopefully we can roll with it from last year. I'm sure you've been asked. I'm sure people are wondering, wondering, how exactly you related to Bobby and Tommy? Uh, I'm actually not. Okay. So yeah. So yeah, we we had heard a couple different things on that. Frank, what's uh, what are your expectations going into this season? Uh, my expect expectations are pretty high. I mean, our defense is going to come out strong, and our offense is looking pretty good right now. And I really can't wait until the season. You got a couple of weeks for the opener against Versailles, Frank. What does the team need to improve on the most between now and then? Uh, I mean, we we're like a normal team. We got to improve on like everything to pass the run defense blitzing everything but i think the most thing we need to improve on is becoming more of a unit and we're getting there but i think we have some some more room but i think by the time it hits for sales we'll be we'll all work as a team and we're, we're gonna crush them caleb he's pulling no punches down there <laughs> gonna crush for sales what what do you think the strength of this team's gonna be uh, I think our strength is going to be our defense, and if our offense can put up some points and our defense can hold them under, we're going to win. It seemed like last year you guys kind of used that uh, formula to great success, where the defense really won you guys some games, and offensively you were able to do enough to, to get some victories. Do you think the offense is going to be a little bit better this year? I certainly hope so. I mean, we lost a lot of seniors last year. We have a lot of new guys coming in. We're just getting used to doing things, and hopefully by the start of the season we can be pretty good. Frank, what games are you most looking forward to this year? Uh, I mean, St. Mary's obviously a rival, but looking forward to Walpock too. I mean, I got some, I got some bad, bad stuff in those games, so I can't wait till those. Caleb, you play every other team in the Western Buckeye League, so you get to know each other very well through a number of sports. Do you like having all those rivals, or would you rather see maybe a, a second non-conference game on the schedule? I like playing. I like playing WL teams. I think it's good, fun. And maybe just one. <laughs> Frank, what, what do you guys do to try and keep the, the spirit light during the, the grind of two a days? Um, we got a we got a pretty uh, talkative junior class and we like to uh, sing and dance and do some other stuff. I mean we got we got players in the background right now dancing. I mean we keep pretty we keep pretty lively and I think two days aren't anything that we're we're even worried about. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, the Salina Bulldogs. That's gonna wrap it up on the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. For Matt Finkel, I'm Mark Coons. We'll see you next time on WOSN.